Hey guys, sorry for the weird camera angle, but it's the only way I can get my phone to record what I was doing. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use pastels. I have a pack of Prismacolors. I have a pack of 12. Um, I'm off Safari because the bottom of the screen when viewing it is the, my top perspective. So I already have my colors laid out, and I recommend that you get a separate sheet of paper and use the pastels or any material that you're using because you want to know the color. Uh, you can see that I'm using my finger and I'm rubbing it. The thing with pastels is you have to blend it, kind of like watercolor or paint in general. You have to blend it. Uh, I use my fingers. Some people have blend sticks that they use. I don't do that. That's extra. Now you can see with that blue, I pointed out, it's kind of growth looking. So I recommend you get yourself a cup of water. I actually made that cup. Fun fact, I have a towel. You can see my fingers are kind of gross. So I'm just going to dip my fingers in the water and just wipe it off. The one bad part about working with pastels, in my opinion, is it does get messy, but if you have the water and you have a towel with you, it's super easy to fix. Like, you can see my fingers are a lot better. I'm going to go back in and finish showing you my colors. How I describe pastels is it's kind of like a mix between a crayon and chalk when you use it and you just write with it, it looks like chalk on a blackboard, but when it has a waxy feel to it, and even when you're like rubbing it and blending it together, it feels waxy. So those are my colors that I'm using. So I'm gonna be drawing an eye today. Now you can sketch out with a pencil or something. I don't like sketching out with a pencil. I think it's kind of extra. I kind of like to go in head first, Now, I'm doing a rough outline, and when I say rough, I mean like getting out of bed, having washed my hair kind of rough. I recommend you use the flat side if you're trying to cover more area. It's easier, and you can get more color in. And if you don't think you have enough pastel on the paper, you don't have enough. You need to add way more. Now, it's still kind of light, but you have to layer your colors. I recommend that you get all the pastel on the paper before you blend it. So I'm going over the brown with a yellow. I want it to look like not necessarily a skin, like a lighter skin tone, but I just want it to look a little bit different. I'm going to go over it with white and black pastel too. The bottom of the screen, my top view is where I want the light coming from, so I'm going to add the white there. I'm going to put black on the bottom of the eye. Kind of look like bags under it. And then you go in to blend. And right away, you can already see what I'm saying. It blends in really, really nice. All the colors kind of flow together and becomes one. I kind of pressed hard on the black because I wanted those almost wrinkles to show up. Pastels too are really, really forgiving. You can see where the white is in the inside of the eye that there's still marks. It's super duper easy if you just go in with your finger and you can blend up to that line. You can kind of, I don't know how to say it right, um, almost fix that mistake. I believe there are no mistakes in art. There are no right and wrong techniques. I've actually argued with my art teachers before about it. And I don't like it. My art teachers never really liked me. I wonder why. Um, now I'm going back in and kind of just adding more color just to make it look a little bit nicer on my end. Add a little bit more white with the highlights. A little bit more black because I want the shadow and the darkness. You can see that there's like my fingerprints are left over. It's really, really easy if you just go over it and kind of just in a circle pattern, just fix it up. I don't do it here because I didn't think about it at that point. 
Um, I started using pastels. I was probably a sophomore in high school. I took an art class, an intro to art class, and it was super fun. And one of the first thing we did was we did pastels, and it was picked up like that. Now I'm going in, and I'm going to draw the iris of it. I'm going for a blue greenish eye. You can see I'm going to start off with the blue, but no, wrong. I'm going to start off with my green. With any material that you use in art, you should always start with the, your lighter colors on the bottom and then work your way up and let layer darker colors on top of that. You can always go darker, you can never really go lighter. I'm going to do the same thing with my blue on top. You really don't have to do perfect, perfect coloring. When you blend it, that's when you can get more precise and you can get more, not detail, but it'll just look a lot better and it'll almost look like one color. You can see already where I blended it already looks like it's, I really didn't draw on it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my darker blue. Um, so I want the light coming from your perspective would be the bottom left. So I'm going to put it opposite of it. And then we're going to blend in the darker bits. If you don't blend enough, you're still going to see the marks that you left from using the pastels. It's a super easy fix. Just keep blending it and blending it. There are real no rights and wrong when it comes to it. It's art's real subjective. You can find a technique that you like. This is just what I recommend. Now I'm going to be adding in some white of the eye, or to the eye. Just want to brighten it up. If you want light coming from that area, just use white and you can blend it in. You can see I'm even going back over where I didn't think that I was done blending it. Kind of going in a circular pattern. Next, I'm going to put in the black of the eye. I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing. Nothing, nothing real serious is kind of roughly in. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you're going to use black on top of something, you have to make sure you're really, really careful because if you over blend it and it smears, everything is going to be all cattywampus looking and we don't want to be cattywampus. No, sir. Just kind of finishing up, blending out what I thought was the skin. Make it look a little bit nicer. I'm anal when it comes to my art. Be adding a little bit more white. Didn't think it was bright enough. If you think it's too light or too dark, you can obviously add different colors to it. I'm adding a little bit of white to the black of the eye. And you can see that the white really, really does lighten it up. I'm not going to be touching that white in the black. Kind of make it look like a light in the eye. 